Have you ever dreamt about having an L&D consultant that never sleep, always answer your questions and is available 24 seven? Whenever you need it, they're always there. Well, that's not a dream anymore. Today we're tapping into how you can turn ChatGPT into your always on demand L&D expert. Let's dive in. So here's how you do it. Now I've opened up ChatGPT and as you can see, I'm using the GPT 3.5 model. So it's the free version. I want that because I want to showcase you how you can utilize this for free without the hassle as well. But what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to copy paste my predefined prompt that will tell ChatGPT that it's now a training GPT. Why I'm doing this is to set its mind. I want ChatGPT to act in this way. You can use this prompt as well. It's totally free. I have it on fullstackhr.io. No need to sign up or anything. You go in there, copy paste it if you need it. So that's what I'm going to do now. So now we defined how we want ChatGPT to act. And it says, of course, I'll be happy to. Fantastic. Now we're basically off. Now I can ask whatever LND questions or LND thoughts I might have here. And I'm going to use one of the examples I have on Fullstack HR, which is how do I create an LND strategy for my organization? And it, as you can see, it says we're thinking of establishing a more formal learning strategy in my organization. Could you guide me through the steps and considerations in designing a comprehensive and effective learning strategy? And here you could, for example, also add more context. So you give ChatGPT more insights to who you are. And this is just a very rudimentary example. So we're an IT consultancy business with 274 employees and at least knows a bit more context, but you can obviously add way more context here if you want to. But now let's see what pops out. I did not speed that up in any way. It's blazingly fast. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't uh, create the full strategy for you, but it creates a baseline and a supporting guide from where you can start working with your learning and development strategy. The beauty of this now is that I can start chatting to ChatGPT. It's a chat. For example, how do I do number one? It sounds like a fantastic first step, but how do I do it? Okay, this is how you can do it. So the way I utilize this almost always is that I see it as a guide and a mentor that, that can help me and guide me through the ins and outs of what I'm trying to achieve. It's not actually doing the tasks for me, but it's nudging me in a way that helps me do my tasks, which I think is a fantastic utilization of tools such as ChatGPT. And on the plus side as well, I'm not sharing any sensitive information with ChatGPT in this way. It just helps me take on the new, potentially new tasks that I'm tossed with from my organization. It's more a great mentor that I always have available. And by the way, now is a good time to interrupt you and say that if you like this video and find it useful, hit that like button below. That helps out this channel quite a lot. But let's take another example. Let's say we have trainings in place or we have great content that we're utilizing in our organization to learn our employees, whatever we want to learn them but we're not sure about the effectiveness of the trainings and we want to increase uh, the efficiency of the training and we want to find good metrics for doing so. Let's just continue the chat that we already have. Uh, I have already told ChatGPT that we're in the sort of L&D space. So I can just then once again utilize the pre-made prompt here that we were eager to measure the effectiveness of the uh, initiatives that we're doing and let's see what it spits out. Here we are. That's the response I got from ChatGPT. One can argue that if, I, if you were to Google this, you would achieve almost the same results. And yes, that is true. But the beauty of this is that if I want to understand more, for example, about completion rates, I can ask ChatGPT instantly, tell me more about this. How do I do it? Why is it important? I can start to dwell deeper in the certain topics that I'm most keen on or that I have little knowledge about, and I don't have to redo the search once again. And of course, you can also create full-fledged courses within ChatGPT. For example, if I want to create a course for new joiners on how to make a good first impression with clients, I can just ask ChatGPT and define this is the outcome that I'm looking for. So let's see what it comes up with. And here we go. It creates the course. I don't know if this is good or not. This is the first time I see it. But still, you have a foundation to stand upon. And as said now multiple times, you can dwell deeper. You can ask more questions. You can ask it to clarify. You can say, ignore this section and make this section more prominent or whatever it is that you want to achieve. But I find it 
incredibly useful to always have a little helper on my side. And I hope that this video serves as inspiration for you to go out there as well and try ChatGPT for training purposes, for L&D purposes. That's it for today. I'll catch you in the next video.